trying to be who I've been all along. It's all my lovely talking, not the guy who I was before the song. Don't walk out on me because I'm trying to be. Welcome back, guys. Today we're going to be walking around a 1979 Trans Am. This one does have the 6.6 .6 under the hood. It's also got power steering and working AC. So far so good on the test drive. It's been awesome. Um, I definitely recommend checking out the test drive video. Also looking at the detailed pictures. And if you need finance, and I have that available. Also, all of our cars and in inventory. You might need to go on over and check out maplemotors.com. I can ship this car to you anywhere in the country. All right, so we're gonna get started here. I like point out chips, scratches, any kind of flaws. That way you know what you're getting before you get here. And uh, we do this with every car on the lot. Let's get started here. <clears throat> Checking over the front end, looks pretty good. It does have a little bit of spider web cracking going on here in the plastic on the front bumper um looking over the top you got a little bit of that going on here as well if i can get real close on it you can see it it's very light there coming around this end it's pretty good a couple little chips at the bottom here coming up over the front passenger fender couple little spots right here in the paint I've also got a small little ding in the door there light chips at the bottom here went up over the rear picking up some dirt there exhaust kicked out to the side coming back to midsection uh, towards the midsection here, this looks like it has been fading or repainted. Coming back, light scratch. Also got another light scratch right here. I'm walking this way because my shadow will be in the back. A few chips right here. back some more you got some swirls right there coming over the top section here edge of the hood looks good the bird is awesome on this one windshield looks pretty good it's got some dust on it thought those were scratches they were not get a chip in the paint right there back bumper on this one a little bit faded definitely could use a buffing or a little bit of wax bring her back out she still looks pretty good Check it through the trunk. It's in great shape with a spare tire. You got a little booklet here. Talking about the car. Yeah, it was a one owner, all original survivor, according to the book. I'll have to check the title on that now. Oh, they made a pretty cool book about this one. Documentation, title. Wow, there's a lot of stuff going on in this book. Somebody actually did a really good job on this. Good deal. Okay. Checking out the trunk some more, the package tray, got the jack back here, looks good. All right, they got the carpet all glued down. I'm not about to rip all that up. Weather stripping looks pretty good, fairly new. 
all the jams are clean coming down with the trunk here shuts easy See, we'll talk about where it looks like it's been repainted right here on this one probably had some clear coat coming up on it and they sprayed it let's look at this side coming down this side of the car here we're going to do the same thing lower portion midsection and top tires are in great shape These look like new tread hard, hardly even used couple dents in the door here there's a ding here 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 and here in the corner here you got a chip you got a scratch here that's been touched up coming on down a little bit there's another little scratch a chip a chip there there's a ding in the door here a few more chips from the road Coming up over the fender here. There's a chip right there. And back to midsection. Got a scratch right here. few chips on the roof and here also there this spot right here as well all right made it all the way around here let's go ahead and check this interior out As soon as I open the door, you can see the seats have been redone. They're beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Back seat's the same way. Really good shape here. Package tray looks good. Headliner. Go ahead and place your bets. Do you think the steering wheel works on this one? They've already done the carpet. The door looks great. The weather stripping, a little weak on top, but it's good. Still in good shape, should work fine. Looking at the bottom of the door. And the jams. Good deal. This car is very easy to start. Oh, let me sit back out of here. Go ahead and try some stuff out. So the engine temperature works, oil pressure works, tax working, speedo works. I'll show you the mileage here. Gas gauge was working. I don't know what happened to it. It just fell off the earth. It was working on the test drive. I guess I need to mention that. Uh, bolts was up. Pressure's kicking on, AC's blowing, and it's starting to get cold already because I had it on earlier. Horny, you ready? She works. Nice and easy. Wipers work, radio. Jamming. Good deal. The only thing I see that doesn't work now is that gas gauge and the clock. We don't want that gas gauge to pop back up. That's crazy. It was just working. It was a quarter tank and then half a tank. You'll see that in the test drive. Huh. All right. I noticed this. It hadn't happened in a second because I, I fixed it at the lot. I lubed it up. This little hinge is getting hung here on the inside of the door. 
I think it's going to need to be greased up really well. Um, basically, what I've been doing is using a pair of pliers and uh, pulling it out and pulling on the handle. But I don't know why it keeps getting hung like that. I'll fix that here in a moment. But that is something that was going on right before I did the test drive. And then, of course, now it just happened again. So you can hear the compressor kicking on and off. Motor's nice and quiet. Let's come on down with the hood now. It comes down pretty easy. I'm not having to push hard at all. She locked up. Little chip there. All right. I'm gonna give you some undercarriage shots, check out the test drive, see a lit undercarriage shot, and uh, of course, maplemotors.com has detailed pictures. I know I say that a lot, but it also has a questions and answers section. Um, all of our inventory is located on there. And of course, if you're watching this week, we're gonna be out of town Thursday through Sunday, and we'll be opening up Monday. Today is the 12th, so on a Monday. Let's look under this. I appreciate you watching i'm gonna go back to the lot i've got three cars to do today and uh i'll get some more videos out for you i'll also be doing a quick walk around pointing out some of the cars that we're putting on this week we're not going to put on a lot we're only going to put on five uh the reason is because we'll be gone thursday through sunday so it's literally half a week so we're putting a half the amount of cars on next week i'll be back with 10 cars and uh of course the following will do the same i do appreciate you watching hit subscribe also hit that notification bell if you're interested in uh, seeing classic cars daily i'll talk to y'all later see you guys